What is the first thing to do when a baby is born in a Christian family? Infant baptism. Yes, that's right. Infant baptism is the practice of baptizing infants shortly after birth or children who have not yet reached the age of discernment and therefore cannot profess personal faith. Parents are obliged to arrange baptism of infants as soon as possible, at least within 100 days from the day of birth. In particular, when a baby has any health problems, he or she should be baptized without delay. Especially, an infant in danger of death is to be baptized even if the parents are not in agreement or the parents are not Catholics. No one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. In other words, it becomes very difficult to enter the kingdom of God unless a man be born again of water and the Holy Spirit. Babies who have committed no sins are born with a fallen human nature and tainted by original sin. Therefore, they must be baptized in order to be reborn as children of God. They are completely cleansed from even original sin by the sacrament of baptism. Then, how is a child baptized? First, go to a parish office and submit an application form for infant baptism. The celebration of infant baptism usually takes place for a group of babies and children. A designated date and time will be informed. When an infant is baptized, the consent of the parents or at least one of them or the person who lawfully holds their place is needed. Prior to the celebration of baptism, the parents need to choose a godfather or godmother and a baptismal name for their child. The godparents should be someone other than the parents. After carefully looking into the names of their saints or other spiritual expressions, the parents choose a proper baptismal name for their child. The baptized baby becomes a child of God in his infinite grace even before starting to toddle. However, the baptized babies cannot receive Holy Communion because they do not know the meaning of the Eucharist. So, some say this. Is it appropriate to baptize a child who does not know the meaning of baptism? And the Church answers, Yes, indeed. This is because infant baptism is administered based on the faith of the parents and godparents. At the ceremony of infant baptism, unlike of adult baptism, a baptismal candle is held by the godfather or godmother, not by the child. Then the priest says, Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you. It means that the parents and godparents should lead the children so that they can profess their faith in the future. This is the same as the parents taking good care of their newborn until they stand up and move around on their own. Later, when the children are old enough to know the meaning of the Eucharist and to profess their faith for themselves, they should prepare for the First Holy Communion. The Church provides special education for this. The faith formation in preparation for the First Communion is called the Catechesis for the First Holy Communion. Catechesis for the First Holy Communion usually aims at formation of children from 3rd through 6th grade. Then, what about children who have not received infant baptism? According to the Code of Canon Law, they need to receive catechesis for catechumens prior to their baptism. The Catholic Church in Korea allows them to participate in the catechesis programs for First Holy Communion. Then what should an adult do if he or she wants to be baptized? Don't worry, it's very simple. First, go to the nearest parish and register for catechesis for catechumens. Catechesis for catechumens usually takes about six months. In unavoidable cases, it is also possible to receive education without attending the catechetical process in the parish. They are the catechetical correspondence courses through mail services and the online catechetical courses through the Internet. Well, when catechumens start their catechesis process, they are strongly encouraged to attend Mass on Sundays. The same goes for any case including catechesis through mail services or online catechesis. Attending Mass is the basis of the Christian life. Infant Baptism Now, if you belong to the family of believers, I hope you will not hesitate anymore to bring your children to be baptized. 
Also, it is said that there are a lot of people who want to be baptized around us, much more than we think, so let's actively encourage them.